Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the water inlet valve on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is an adjustable wrench, a quarter inch nut driver, and a sharp utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to pull the fridge far enough forward so that we can disconnect the power to it. We're also going to turn off the inlet water supply and disconnect the supply from the back of the refrigerator. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, we've got our inlet water supply disconnected. We're next going to remove the four quarter inch hex head screws that secure that back panel. And just carefully pull that panel up out of the channel on the bottom and we'll set that aside. Now we've located the valve on the right hand side. So next we're going to remove the two screws that secure the bracket to the frame of the refrigerator. And then we'll just pull that valve forward. And once we have the valve out, we can locate all of the four hoses, the outlet from the valve going to the filter, the clear one which is the return from the filter that goes to the back of the valve, and we have a large yellow tube that goes off to the water dispenser and a green one that runs up to the ice maker. So we need to take note of those particular hoses so that we know where they go. There's a bit of an indication anyways, the connector for the valve that supplies the filter is brown in color, as is the hose. The water line going through the dispenser has a yellow connector on it and a yellow solenoid. One going to the ice maker has a green connector, green solenoid, green hose. So next we're going to release those hoses and to do so we need to push in on that white collet on the valve, push that into the valve and then pull the hose straight back. You may get some water come out of those hoses. So I have a towel handy there. Once we removed all the hoses, we can next disconnect the wire harnesses to the valve. Really pull them off of the solenoids. And pull with the connector, not with the wire. And we can discard our old valve. Now before we install the new one, we'll want to look carefully at the ends of those hoses. And really we should trim about a quarter to three eighths of an inch off of the end of those tubes before we insert them into the new valve. To do that we'll first of all use a block of wood to protect the floor and then a sharp razor knife or utility knife will simply come back that far on the tubing, make a nice straight cut, inspect it for any burrs, make sure it's square in the end and it's ready to insert into the new valve. So we'll do that with all of the tubing. We'll next take our new valve and we'll reinstall all of the harnesses. Brown connector to the brown solenoid, yellow to yellow and green to green. reconnect the supply tubes. So we're going to completely push that tube all the way into the valve until it bottoms out and then give it a sharp tug backwards to make sure that it is secure. Now when reinserting that valve into the back of the refrigerator, take note that there is a slot opening on the mounting bracket that will engage a screw that is set into the side of the frame of the refrigerator. So when we're pushing that back, we'll just visual check to make sure that we engage that screw. And that will support the back of the valve. Now make sure that there's no kinks in the tubing. That the wire harnesses are not obstructing anything. We'll reinstall the mounting screws. Tighten those both securely. 
And again, make sure that our tubing is away from any of the refrigeration tubing. And we can reinstall the back panel. Just tuck it down into the base frame, line up the holes for the screws. Now it is important that we install this back panel and that it's not damaged as it is an integral part of the refrigeration process that it keeps the airflow working properly. Now lastly, we'll remove the protective cover on the inlet to the fill valve. Then we can reconnect our household supply and tighten that securely and just turn that water on to make sure that we have no leaks. Once we've completed that, we can push the refrigerator back into position and reconnect the power. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.